it kind of holds you at whatever level you put it at so i'm not having to like th throttle um the throttle <laughs> for to put it technically yeah, flies if you, more if you don't put it than us put it in the comments <laughs> yeah what is this and why did you <laughs> even choose a drone simulator so a drone simulator i i started there because it's uh extremely low entry price i got this drl sim uh on sale on steam for six dollars or seven dollars or something um which i'm definitely willing to pay because i know getting into drone and especially the fpv um style drones can be very expensive especially once you crash which you're gonna crash um this was the easiest step into the drone world and the fpv drone world um is getting a simulator so there are three major ones that i looked at um i can't even tell you the names off the top of my head i'm sorry um but i found this one it was on sale the day that i looked at it so i was like might as well go ahead and pick it up it was like 50 percent off i think it's usually around 15 dollars. where'd you buy this through like stream or through a launcher uh through steam um yeah so i bought it through steam and like i said it was on sale um i have a ton of games on steam already so it was like a no-brainer for me let's go ahead and try this out so like i said i've got maybe five hours into this and part of that or maybe even a half of that was just problem solving and figuring out how to get the game to look good um and now um i did go through it looks like there's three different uh, can you share your screen and just like things. Again, oh. because I'm not a gamer, can you launch Steam and just show me like what you're clicking on? So if I'm interested in it, I can have like a play-by-play -play of what I'm supposed to be clicking on. I'm assuming you go to stream or go to stream, go to Steam, download the launcher. I know that enough that, but then when the launcher comes up, it's very overwhelming because there's a lot of stuff on there. What should I be clicking on from that point? Like, how did you find this out? Did you do Google searches or you went to Steam and immediately search for this? Uh, I found the name of the game from watching YouTube videos, um, but on Steam, once you come to the Steam store, you can go up to the search bar and type in drone. It will show you all the drone games that come up, but this drone racing league um, is the one that I purchased. Uh, so it's actually $10 um, and I got it for sale. So it was probably like five bucks or something when I bought it. Um, and it tells you all the specs about it and all those things. So once you buy it on this platform, then it will show up in your library um, and it will show all the games that you have available. Um, and this is currently launched, so it says stop. But if I wasn't playing it currently, um, it would have a big green play button right there and you hit play. Oh, I guessed correctly, five hours. So yeah, I've been playing for about five hours, but <laughs> I would not say that I've been like training for those five hours. So it's a little uh, deceiving. So I just want to pick up where I left off and actually get into some gameplay. So you can see I did uh, most of these missions. I might have skipped one or two. But Road to FBV tells you what drone you're flying and how many rating or stars you've got as a rating. But I'm really, really bad, so don't expect anything. Again, this is to capture my <laughs> uh, yeah my journey from not knowing anything to actually being on the fly. So a couple of the missions I got through were just like... Uh, I kind of did it, but I don't really think that's the way it wanted me to do it. Um, it's super handholdy, which I don't do well with. So I'm looking forward to just like learning all this stuff. 